In this video, I'm going to explain how to name coordination compounds containing complex ion. These are all examples of coordination compounds containing cationic complex ion. So before coming to this one, let's come first to this important one to be used while naming coordination compound. The ligands names for NH3 it is amine H2O it is aqua and then chlorido bromido fluorido EN ethane 1 2 diamine NO2 nitro ONO nitrito and for this one it is carbo nato from the word carbonate okay so there is a trick to uh, name the coordination compound start first with the names of ligand with the subscripts okay and then the central metal atom and then write the oxidation state of the central metal atom after that write the counter ions have three parts here followed by central metal atom and then by the counter ions so listen if there are more than one ligand in a given complex we have to use the alphabetical order while naming the ligands for CLBR and F they are named as chlorido bromido fluorido when they act as ligands and if they act as if they lie outside the coordination sphere that is they act as counter ions then they are known as chloride bromide and fluoride and then the subscripts for the bidentate ligand for the numeral 2 it is bis and for numeral 3 it is tris that is for the bidentate ligand so while naming coordination compounds we always have to start with a small letter so you have to remember this so let's come to this one this is a central metal atom cobalt as i have told you for nh3 it is amine okay and this one lies outside the coordination sphere so it is chloride start first with the ligand that trick okay what is the subscript here six so what word should i use hex start with a small letter hexa that means six what is the name of this one amine amine and then comes the central metal atom cobalt and then write the oxidation state of this one i have taught how to find the oxidation state of the central metal atom or ion in the previous video you can check that one from the link that i have provided in the description box below if you calculate that you will get if you calculate the oxidation state of this central metal atom in this complex you will get plus three but uh, in the nomenclature we have to use the roman numerals that is of this form three okay and what is this one chloride chloride so the same procedure for the other examples here there are two ligands we have to use the alphabetical order aqua chlorido which one comes first a or c it is a so use a small letter aqua sorry there are four okay tetra aqua here we have two that means di chlorido and then chromium now if you calculate the oxidation state you will get you will get three and then followed by the name of the counter ion that is nitrate so let's come to the third one here we have three ligands amine nitro and chlorido okay so use alpha alphabetical order a comes first followed by c followed by n so here we have subscript four it is tetra tetra amine amine followed by chlorido chlorido followed by nitro and then followed by the central metal atom cobalt and then what is the oxidation state 
of this one it is 3 if you calculate and then followed by the counter ion nitrate so this is how we name for the food one here we have a bidentate ligand so for a bidentate ligand we have to use the word tris for 3 tris and then what is the name of this one you have to put inside a bracket okay for the bidentate ligand ethane 1 2 di amine and then followed by central metal atom chromium chromium and then if you calculate the oxidation state of chromium in this complex you will get 3 and then followed by clo right okay and then let's come to this one we have two ligands so which one comes first c or e it is c so di chlorido and then use the word bis for a bidentate ligand bis and inside the bracket ethane the name of that ligand one two di amine followed by the central metal atom cobalt the oxidation state if you calculate you will get four and then sol fit okay let's come to the sixth one here we have three ligands one two three use uh, alphabetical order here this one should come first okay i mean tetra because there are four amine and then aqua continue okay i'm writing here because there is no more space and then bromido bromido followed by the central metal atom cobalt write the oxidation state you will get three and then followed by what by nitrate this one there is only one ligand there is a number six so it is hexa aqua chromium the central metal atom and then the oxidation state is three clo right here there are three ligands c e and n so that's you have to start first with c chlorido okay chlorido for a bidentate ligand use the word bis for two and then inside the bracket the name of the ligand that is the bidentate ligand one two one two diamine one two diamine followed by this one nitri the name of this one is nitrito okay cobalt cobalt and what is the oxidation state if you calculate the oxidation state you will get three cobalt three because of the positive sign here we have the word ion remember okay if there is a sign plus or m minus with no counter ion then it is what you have to add the word ion okay so let's come to two more Here we have two ligands, aqua, chlorido, so this one comes first. So it is aqua, di, chlorido, and then chromium, chromium, oxidation state is 3, and then chlo, right, this one. And then the last one we have, what? Amine and carbo natto. So A and C. A comes first. So it is tri, tri, because of this number three. Amine spelling, it is A double M, okay? If it is a ligand. And then carbo, carbonato, 
cobalt. The oxidation state of cobalt in this complex is 3. With a Roman number, 3. And then, chloride. Right. So, in this way, we are naming the coordination compounds containing cationic complex ion. I hope you have understood about this one. Thank you.